Hey everyone, thanks for dropping in. My name's Adam and I'd like to introduce you to the first of a series of devlogs regarding my new upcoming game, Ruined Horizons. Ruined Horizons is a science fiction strategy game that draws inspiration from classics like Homeworld and Battlestar Galactica. One of the biggest inspirations for my game is the Homeworld series. I absolutely love the way that Homeworld allows players to view and control their ships in a fully immersive 3D environment, with full axis movement. And I wanted to incorporate that same feeling of freedom and control into my game. When I first started designing the game, one of the things that I wanted it to revolve around was controlling a small amount of large capital ships rather than entire fleets and I came up with a list of requirements that I wanted the game to have and that was to focus on capital ships for it to be a real-time game with the ability to pause and issue commands if needed I wanted it to be single player with a campaign that you could play through I wanted there to be a variety of weapons available on the ships and for those ships to be customizable with those weapons and the same with the subsystems and modules. And finally, I wanted ships to have special abilities that could be used during the game. With those requirements decided, the only thing left to do was to get cracking and to start making the game. The very first thing I did was to create a simple empty arena with a space background on it, download some free ship assets, and make a very simple movement system that would allow me to move my ships around the arena. I also implemented a gun turret system and gave them something to shoot and then had the two ships moving around the screen shooting at each other. What you can see here is some of the early test footage that I took implementing these game features. The ships can move around the arena and can shoot at each other but they can't damage each other yet. In the next iteration of the game, I gave the ships some basic homing missiles and also gave the ships some internal subsystems that could be damaged by enemy weapons fire. In terms of subsystems, the ships had reactors, batteries, sensors, thrusters and jump drives for fast and light travel. If a subsystem takes sufficient damage it will go offline and will no longer contribute to the ship. For example, if you knock out the ship's thrusters, it will no longer be able to move. If you knock out its sensors, it will no longer be able to see or target enemy ships. I wanted to give the ships the ability to shoot down incoming missiles, and so I implemented a basic point defence system which would attack any missile coming towards them. I then also updated the missiles to try and avoid incoming point defence fire by zigzagging as they got close to the target. I then got a little bit distracted, constantly trying to tweak the missile code to better avoid point defence fire, and then going back to the point defence turrets to try and make them better at predicting and shooting down their missiles. This went on for a little while until I decided they were both good enough, and I moved on. The next thing that I worked on was a little bit of UI just to make everything a little bit clearer as to what was happening in the game and to give you some actual control over the turrets that you were firing. I created a small panel in the bottom which shows the current status of the ship, such as its power levels and its armour levels. It was also at this point that I decided that armour was going to be directional, so that each side of the ship would have its own armour 
making ship placement during the game vital. I also added a small panel for turrets where you could switch on or off each turret individually and the turret icon would change colour depending on what status it was in. If it couldn't attack the target because it wasn't within its firing arc it would turn red for example. At this point I also added some basic icons which show what the ship can actually see on its radars. Enemies appear with a small red icon next to them for example. At this point I really wanted the game to look a little bit prettier and so I downloaded a ship pack that would allow me to generate randomly generated ships to give me a little bit of variety. These ships would only ever be used as placeholders as I fully intend to have custom model ships to replace them in the future. I also added the ability for ships to have energy shields. These shields would consume a lot of power when activated but would prevent your ship from taking any damage to its armour. The shields would deplete over time if they had taken damage, until eventually they would become disabled. They would recharge slowly when they were offline. Next, I implemented a weapon system that I wanted from the very beginning, which was lasers. Lasers would have a very long range, but take a lot of energy to fire them. They would be very precise, but they wouldn't do very much damage against armour, being mostly used against shields. I used some of the post-processing effects in Unity, specifically Bloom, to make these lasers look a lot nicer. At this point, I was ready to start working on some of the UI. I created a very simple fitting screen that allowed you to change what weapons you had outfitted to your ship and preview them before taking those changes into the next mission. The UI went through a few iterations as I tried to tweak it to make it look a little bit better. This was only ever intended to be temporary anyway. Next, I created a very simple mission system that allows you to set objectives and for those objectives to be met. If you meet all the objectives in the mission, you would complete the mission. I also included a messaging system so that the various characters in the game can send you messages to let you know what's going on in the game world. I also toyed around with the idea of having a galaxy map, which is what you can see on the screen here now. The idea being that missions would appear and you would be able to assign fleets to those missions and you would send them. A little bit like XCOM but in space. However, I ultimately decided against this at this point in time as it added a lot of complexity into the game and it didn't really suit the strong single player story based missions that I wanted to do. But this may make a reoccurrence in the future if I can find a way to integrate it nicely. At this point I felt I had a really solid foundation from which to continue developing the game. And so from now on it was just adding new features as I went along added new kinetic weaponry, such as railguns, added new lasers and missile weapons, I added a decoy system that would drag missiles away from their intended targets and towards decoys, I added a new missile interception system which would shoot missiles at incoming missiles and destroy them, I added a sensor overview system so that you could see how much power a ship was using and how much their sensor ranges were, I added two new sensor types to complement this, We've got the standard radar type and I also added an EM type and a thermal type. Each technology has its own upsides and downsides and can be used in specific circumstances. I added the ability for ships to do warp jumps so they can move around the battlefield a bit more quickly but gave these quite a big cooldown so they couldn't be abused. I also added the ability to launch strike craft from some ships such as carriers and to have them strike craft use some basic formations and I also implemented repair bots and mines and minesweepers. There's also many other things that I will probably cover in a future devlog. And that uh, brings us to the end of this devlog. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what Rune Horizons has to offer. Uh, please let me know if you, if you want to see more of this sort of thing, if you want to see more about Ruined Horizons if you want me to go into more depth about certain features. I will be doing 
more devlogs in the future. So thank you very much for making it to the end of the video and I hope to be able to bring you more content soon. Thanks.